Good morning friends, we are going to talk about virology today, very very interesting topic because uh, in the emerging and re-emerging microbial infections, there are only two things now which are uh, emerging and re-emerging so to say. One are these multidrug resistant bacteria and the second one are these viruses which are um, which can cause pandemics and you know it can cause global scare. So, coming uh, to virology, what are the different properties of viruses that make it different from bacteria? Going to the slide, the bacteria have certain properties where they have cell organization, they can grow on inanimate media like blood agar, chocolate agar etc. They have, uh, they multiply by binary fission. They have both DNA and RNA, therefore you have a DNA PCR as well as an RNA PCR for most bacteria. They are sensitive to antibacterial antibiotics, you have a whole range of antibiotics to which they are sensitive, it can be either on the cell wall or the cytoplasm or the cell nucleus, but they are not sensitive to interferons. So, interferons are purely antiviral in nature, these are the general properties of bacteria. The reason why we are talking about this is for MCQs right from this particular slide, a lot of MCQs are asked on general differences between bacteria and viruses. Virology per se contains about 3 to 4 marks in general MCQ uh, of the total 15 marks of 15 to 17 marks of microbiology. So, therefore, it is uh, about one third or one fifth of its importance in marks. Viruses on the other hand do not have a cell organization, they do not grow on inanimate objects. So, therefore, they need a living cell either an animal or they require a tissue culture or a live cell for that matter or an embryonated egg etc. They do not multiply by binary fission, they have only a DNA or an RNA, never both. So, this particular thing is very important that they have only DNA and only RNA, they do not have both as compared to bacteria. They are not sensitive to antibacterial antibiotics and therefore, treatment for viruses is antiviral drugs which are different and they can they are sensitive to interferons. Therefore, interferons uh, many times are used as a therapy for uh, some infections like hepatitis B, hepatitis C and viruses can pass through bacterial filters which have pore size of 0.2 micron. This is a bacterial filter. The next properties are nucleocapsid, nucleo meaning nucleic acid is either DNA or RNA, it is surrounded by a protein coat. So, nucleocapsid is the one to protect the nucleic acid from inactivation by nucleases. The capsid has polypeptide capsomeres, there are two types of symmetry. One is a helical which is like a bullet shaped rhabdovirus and one is ecosahedral which is most pathogenic viruses have ecosahedral or cuboidal. Uh, symmetry. The third symmetry is a complex symmetry, there is only one example in entire microbiology of a virus which has complex symmetry and that is pox virus. Pox virus is a very big virus, very big DNA virus. So, pox virus has a complex symmetry. The viruses are either enveloped or non-enveloped, 